Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me again on this beginning welder series. We wanna look at what the numbers mean on an electrode. All right, friends, so electrodes have numbers. You can kind of see as I roll this, some of these numbers are a little bit faded, but we have a 6013, a 6011, and this one's backwards, sorry for that, a 7018. So what do those numbers mean? Well, they actually mean something and they're not just a stamped serialized number for um, the manufacturer's listing. What those numbers mean is right up here. Our first number, our first two numbers is the tensile strength that the weld produces with that rod afterwards. So the first numbers, 60, that's 60,000, okay? So if it's a 6010 or a 6011 or a 6013, that's 60,000 pounds of tensile strength, okay? The next number is your positions. Positional welding, we'll talk about that later, the different positions, but this, this number dictates what position this can be welded in. So one is an all position, two, a different one, three, different one altogether. This last number is the flux composition. What this coating on the outside of the electrode, what that flux is made up of. So that's not that big a deal for us as beginning welders. The bigger deal right now are these three first numbers, the tensile strength and the position it can be welded in because we're gonna be welding on different positions. All right, folks, now you know what the numbers mean. Go ahead and get out there and weld.